my uh, mentor, Eugen Fink, at the University of Freiburg, recommended that I do, uh, did not start reading Schelling from the beginning of Schelling's works, where he was very clearly an, uh, uh, more or less in the same path as a post Kantian, uh, along with Hegel, his contemporary, and, and Fichte. But he said, start with the Freiheitsschrift, the, um, the uh, uh, essay on uh, human understanding. And in the Freiheit Schrift, Schelling is breaking away from the rigorously logical approach to the God-world relationship and talking, bringing in the, the thought of Jakob Böhme uh, about the Urgrund Gottes, uh, the, uh, the f foundational ground of being for God himself, and then the Urgrund as it operates in a, a human beings in the, for the cause of freedom. And what you see then is a, uh, the Urgrund is the energy source for two contrary tendencies in God and in human nature. One towards order and the other towards novelty, or if not chaos, but novelty. And they're in tension with one another. So, but it's the Urgrund which is the energy source. That's what attracted me because there was, it was getting me into the problem of subjectivity, which I did not really find anywhere in Aquinas after all those years of study, because uh, uh, Thomas was so objectively oriented to, to the world, uh, it, beautifully so, it, me, uh, mediating Christian doctrine and Aristotelian uh, metaphysics, but still very little uh, except in his, his prayers and his meditations and his hymns. Then the subjectivity comes out in Aquinas, but not in his formal philosophy and theology. So that, that interest in subjectivity led me eventually to intersubjectivity. And that was in some measure to be found in Schelling in, in, his, in his late lectures, the, uh, the lectures on the philosophy of uh, Revelation, where he talked about uh, needing to start from a, a, a standpoint outside your, your logical system. And if that standpoint was God understood as personal. So, in, uh, in, in, sucht, uh, jeder man, in, not, not, as, and so forth. So, the, um, uh, that interest in subjectivity also coincided with, with Heidegger's myth sign, which he never really explained. So, I found myself looking for a philosophy of community, and I first went to Josiah Royce's Problem of Christianity, where he lays out an elementary philosophy of community. But I also wanted a cosmic community, not just a human community of interpretation, as, as Royce would have it. So then I found, discovered Whitehead, that he had this idea of subjects of experience uh, being joined together in a society, or equivalently, a community. And, uh, the, the problem then, of course, was to really show the distinctiveness of the one given the many. See, Whitehead is an atomist. And so, by, by his own admission, a philosophical atomist, where is the new, what is the uh, significance of the new corporate reality of the society? And I, that's where I've been deviating from standard Whiteheadian practice, uh, searching for things like field of activity, structured field of activity, or more recently, system. Uh, but a, a life system, not a dead system. That's the, that's the important thing.